On today's episode of the latest Tesla news, Tesla unveils new sports seats for Model S Plaid's insane power. Tesla launches new long-range rear-wheel drive Model Y in Europe. Tesla releases FSD V12.3.4, adds FSD V12 to older Model S, Model X, and new Model 3 for the first time and more. Tesla has unveiled new sports seats for the Model S Plaid to absorb the electric supercar's insane power better. While it's in the form of a family sedan, the Model S Plaid could easily pass as an electric supercar with its 1.99 second 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration. That's more power than anyone would need, but it is fun. Some Model S Plaid owners even like to take the fun to the racetrack. When cornering, you can really feel the G's on the racetrack. Tesla's Model S seats are comfortable, but they are not designed for super-spirited driving, which the rest of the vehicle enables. Now, Tesla decided to address the issue with the release of new sports seats. They obviously feature much more pronounced side support. Here are the main features of the seats. Increased lateral support, modular seat architecture for comfort and support, plus same 12-way power adjust, heating and ventilation. High performance suede for increased grip and reduced weight. Here's another look at the new seats. The seats are now standard for the $90,000 Model S Plaid and included on all cars built since the beginning of the month. Tesla has launched a new trim of the Model Y in some European countries, a new long-range rear-wheel drive Model Y. Last quarter, Tesla had disappointing deliveries and added 46,000 vehicles to its inventory. Some of those were already sold in transit, but overall the automaker added over 100,000 vehicles to its inventory. Tesla like most other automakers, needs cheaper vehicles in order to counter the high interest rates. Now, the automaker has introduced a new trim of its popular Model Y to offer another cheaper option. The new Model Y long-range rear-wheel drive is now the new second cheapest Model Y, starting at 48,990 euros, 4,000 euros more than the standard range rear-wheel drive. It comes with the longest range of the Model Y lineup with 600 kilometer, 373 miles, on the WLTP standard when equipped with 19 Gemini wheels. Tesla claims the lowest cost per kilometer in the electric SUV market, 14.9 kilo watt hour or 100 kilometer. The new version is available in most, but not all of Tesla's European markets. Tesla has been on a roll recently since releasing FSD V12. Yesterday, Tesla started rolling out update 2024.3.15, which includes the latest version of FSD V12.3.4. While this update is available for all vehicles currently on FSD V12, it finally adds support for the legacy Model S and Model X, as well as the new Model 3. The Cybertruck is now the last consumer vehicle semi-excluded, that currently doesn't have access to FSD V12. In fact, the Cybertruck doesn't have access to any version of FSD yet, although that shouldn't be surprising given that the Cybertruck is a brand new vehicle and Tesla is still ramping up production. This FSD update follows Tesla's recent release of FSD V8 12.3.3, which changed FSD from beta to supervised, a precondition which, in hindsight, foreshadowed that it would soon be ready for older cars. We were hoping also to see improvements with the new auto park feature, or see it expanded to vehicles with ultrasonic sensors, USS but it looks like Tesla was focused on bringing FSD V12 to additional vehicles with this update. V8 
vehicles with USS are not only waiting on the new auto park, but also the new high fidelity park assist that was rolled out to vehicles without USS late last year. In December, Tesla's autopilot lead, Ashok Eliswamy said that the feature would come to models with USS eventually. It's possible the feature may be tied to the latest auto park feature and users will receive both at the same time. Please note that this update hasn't yet reached all the eligible vehicles yet and is being rolled out slowly over time as Tesla monitors these vehicles. If your car becomes eligible, you'll receive a push notification, or sometimes it's helpful to check in the Tesla app or in the vehicle manually. Tesla just dropped its FSD subscription pricing dramatically in the U.S., lowering the cost from $199 to $99 per month. However, not everyone is thrilled with the new pricing. For owners who bought the enhanced autopilot package for $6,000 USD, Tesla offered a lower-priced FSD subscription of $99 instead of $199. However, with this new FSD price reduction, EAP owners are no longer receiving a discount. Tesla has just announced that FSD subscriptions are now available in Canada. What's even more surprising is the unexpectedly low subscription price of $99 CAD. Tesla took to X to announce the availability in Canada but unfortunately didn't reveal any additional information regarding the subscriptions. Despite the lowered subscription price, the outright purchase price for FSD remains steep at $12,000. This price point equates to subscribing to the service for over 10 years. Given that the average length of car ownership in the U.S. is about eight years, this makes the current price of buying FSD unattractive to most. The saving grace of buying FSD is that you know what you're paying for the life of the vehicle and can avoid any potential subscription price increases. Tesla has not confirmed whether the price reduction is a temporary promotional tactic or a permanent adjustment. The timing coincides with Tesla's release of FSD V12 and its trial offer, suggesting that the company is keen on encouraging more drivers to experience FSD. This approach not only boosts user engagement, but also accelerates the volume of data Tesla can collect to improve the system. Although Tesla hasn't adjusted the price of buying FSD, it is tweaking its referral program to accommodate the new price. Three months of FSD are now available through Tesla's referral program for 6,000 credits, reduced from the previous 12,000 credits. Tesla's reduction in FSD in the U.S. and its planned expansion into Canada reflect a strategic initiative to make FSD more accessible and financially attractive to a broader audience. There's no doubt this change will increase the number of FSD subscriptions, but it'll be interesting to see how much. To break even, Tesla would need to double the number of subscriptions, but they likely have their eyes set much higher. If you currently subscribe to FSD, Tesla has automatically reduced future payments to the lower $99 price point. Max Paul Franklin was saved by Tesla FSD recently and recounts the story as so. On April 1st, Tesla unlocked full self-driving capability for all Tesla vehicles in America. In a moment of dire need, at 2 a.m. the following morning, I found myself grappling with severe dehydration and a blood glucose level of 670 due to a malfunction in my insulin pump. With no time to spare, I turned to my Model Y for assistance. Engaging the new full self-driving feature with a simple double click on the steering column stalk, I was astounded by the results. Without any intervention, the car skillfully navigated the 13-mile journey from my home to the VA emergency room, offering to autonomously park it upon arrival and let me seek immediate medical attention. 
Despite enduring a mild heart attack, I left the hospital with no restrictions on my exercise regimen, a testament to the swift and efficient response facilitated by the vehicle and the number one VA in America. As an owner of luxury vehicles including Porsche, Mercedes, BMW, Acura, and Cadillac, I can unequivocally declare Tesla the pinnacle of automotive innovation today. Its life-saving capabilities in critical moments underscore its superiority. The leap from traditional vehicles to Tesla's full self-driving functionality is like upgrading from a basic phone to a smartphone. As a resident of a solar-powered home, the cost of energy for the last 7,000 miles has been minimal. I've saved nearly $1,000. I extend my gratitude to Elon Musk for his crazy, erratic leadership in advancing technology that is more than just transportation. As someone who shares Elon's place on the spectrum, I am particularly appreciative of his commitment to excellence and innovation. He has profoundly impacted our world and personally impacted my own. Thanks, Tesla. And thanks, Charles George VA Medical Center team. Elon Musk even responded to the man, saying he was glad Tesla FSD was there to help and that he is feeling well. One could argue that making FSD not accessible or even delaying its launch could be a moral hazard for those who need their car to drive them and are not able to at the moment. It is also a hazard for those who are on the road and have some kind of heart issue or stroke and need their car to continue driving. FSD will keep the person safe as it continues to improve and does not need intervention. With all this being said, it's important to remember, FSD is not yet autonomous and requires driver intervention where appropriate. 